Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches distribution of e-property cards under Swamitva scheme. Chief Minister Nipiru inaugurates 29th Biennial Conference of Angami Students' Union, urges students' community to continue legacy of goodness. Nagaland reports 114 fresh cases of COVID-19 positive cases, raising the tally to 13,003. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviews steps taken to boost oxygen availability in the country. As the number of COVID cases are on the rise again, we appeal to our listeners not to lower the guard, follow all the precautions and all those above 45 years to get vaccinated without any hesitation. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, focus on hand and face hygiene and maintain a distance of two yards for social distancing. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister has urged rural India to follow all COVID-related protocols and defeat the second wave of corona pandemic. Speaking at the launch event of Swamitva scheme for the entire country today, Modi loaded the spirit of rural India, asserting that last year everyone sincerely followed the COVID-appropriate behaviour which helped the nation recover from the pandemic within a short span of time. Highlighting the decision of liberalisation in the vaccine policy commencing from 1st May regarding vaccination of everyone above 18 years, Modi also appealed everyone to follow every health guideline issued by the government from time to time. Talking about the importance of village panchayats, the Prime Minister said that the country is moving ahead by placing villages at the centre of every policy and endeavour. He asserted that the centre is moving ahead with the aim to make villages of modern India completely self-reliant. The Prime Minister also urged all panchayats across the nation to start local campaigns around groundwater, Swachada, agriculture and education. He said the day of Panchayati Raj is an important occasion to repeat the resolutions of Nav Nirman of rural India and informed that Swamitva scheme will benefit people of rural areas to a great extent. Modi said that under the scheme, drone technology has been used for the first time to map actual property area of landowners. He expressed confidence that the property cards given to over four like beneficiaries under the scheme will also help them to avail financial benefits through loan from banking institutions. Prime Minister also conferred the National Panjayat Awards 2021 on the occasion. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio today graced the inaugural session of the 29th Angami Students' Union, ASU, biennial conference at Naga Heritage Village, Kisama. The Chief Minister urged the students' community to continue the legacy of goodness. Rio asked the students to excel in their education so that they become assets to society. Rio further reminded that students are the future leaders. The Chief Minister said it was an honour to be with ASU during its 29th biennial conference, which also coincides with the commemoration of 75 years of Kohima Subdivision Students' Conference and 50 years of ASU's existence. The conference being held under the theme Reflection will culminate tomorrow. Nagaland today reported 114 fresh cases of COVID-19 positive cases, raising the tally to 13,003. State Health and Family Welfare Minister Espangyapom in a tweet informed that 101 cases were reported from Dimapu, 4 from Kohima, 2 from Mugukchung and 7 from Peck. The minister said currently Nagaland has 555 active COVID-19 cases. Bangyu said total recovery in the state stands at 12,117. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a meeting today to review steps taken to boost oxygen availability in the country. In a meeting, an important decision was made to augment the production and availability of medical oxygen in the country amid its rising demand. Sender has decided to grant full exemption from basic customs duty and health cess on import of medical oxygen and other medical equipments related to medical use of oxygen, including oxygen concentrator, canister, filling systems, storage tanks, pressure swing absorption and vacuum pressure swing absorption plants, cryogenic oxygen air separation units, cryogenic road transport tanks for oxygen, ventilators and any other device from which oxygen can be generated. The government also decided to exempt COVID vaccines from basic import duty for the next three months. 
In the meeting, Modi emphasized the need to immediately augment the supply of medical grade oxygen as well as equipment required for patient care both at home and in hospitals. The Prime Minister stressed that all ministries and departments need to work in synergy to increase availability of oxygen and medical supplies. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on our YouTube channel, AIR News Kohima. Center today advised states and union territories to register additional private COVID vaccination centers in mission mode for the third phase of vaccination, which will commence from 1st May. It has asked them to engage with private hospitals, hospital of industrial establishments and industry associations. The states were also advised to coordinate with designated appropriate authority for applications and their processing and monitoring of pendency of registration. Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan and Dr. R.S. Sharma, Chairman Empowered Group on Technology and Data Management to Combat COVID-19 Today, chaired at a high-level meeting to guide the states and UTs on effective implementation of the third phase of vaccination. The states have been asked to monitor number of hospitals that have procured vaccines and have declared stocks and prices on GoWin. The Secretary also reviewed their augmentation plans to strengthen the existing hospital and clinical treatment infrastructure for COVID patients. Justice Nutala Bhatt Vengada Ramanand today took oath as the 48th Chief Justice of India. President Ramnath Govind administered him the oath of office at a brief ceremony held at Rastra Padipawan. He succeeds Justice Sharat Arvind Bobre, who demitted office yesterday. Justice Ramana will have a tenure of nearly 16 months as the Chief Justice and is due to retire on 26 August next year. Government today said that over 13 crore 83 like 79,000 vaccine doses have been administered till now in the country. Health Ministry said the country has reported over 3 lakh 46,000 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. With this, the total cases in the country reached 1 crore 66 like 10,481. The ministry said over 2 lakh 19,000 people were discharged in the last 24 hours. Till now, 1 crore 38 like 67,997 persons have recovered from COVID-19. The recovery rate stands at 83.49%. It said 2,624 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours and death toll in the pandemic reached 1,89,544. Active cases in the country now stands at 25,52,940. World Veterinary Day is being observed today. It is widely observed annually on the last Saturday of April every year across the world. The theme for this year is Veterinarian Response to the COVID-19 Crisis. On the occasion, Advisor for Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services, R. King, extended greetings to all the veterinarians. The advisor in a tweet said, We have witnessed the remarkable contribution of the animal health professionals to animal health and welfare and human health in general. Doyang Rhythm Music by the Lake was launched yesterday by Advisor to Nagaland Chief Minister Abu Mehta. Speaking at the launching program, Abu Mehta said the event will soon become a festival which will be recognised worldwide and assured to make it a premier musical festival in the country. While observing the potential of local artists and a scenic location, he called upon all to work together and to make it into a reality. Meta also insisted that young knockers should be technology-driven in order to promote their talents and connect globally in a positive way. Altogether, 15 local artists from the district and one guest band are taking part in a two-day event at Doyang Lake, which will culminate this evening. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches distribution of e-property cards under Swamitva scheme. Chief Minister Nipiru inaugurates 29th Biennial Conference of Angami Students' Union, urges students' community to continue legacy of goodness. Nagaland reports 114 fresh cases of COVID-19 positive, raising the tally to 13,003. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi reviews steps taken to boost oxygen availability in the country. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.